Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. I think it's May 12th. Maybe it's the 11th. I'm going to have to check. I can't remember. Uh, this will be a full length reading on YouTube and TikTok. If you're interested in scheduling, check the bio and TikTok, the description in YouTube, and follow the scheduling app, the link. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And we're going to pull from multiple decks and see what comes out. Hopefully the past does not come out, but we are in Mercury retrograde. So you know what that means. All right, let's use this deck. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints, what do we need to know for our greater good? Came out quick. two more okay so someone in the past was not listening to their intuition um, things have been illuminated to this person this person um, is very cowardly whoever this is I'm thinking it's the past had to do with a family situation now this person is heavily burdened um, they have gone into isolation received some enlightenment some wisdom truth and clarity was revealed to this person so let's see what else comes out. The bottom of the deck, the world, the end of a cycle. A cycle that has closed. Let's see what else comes out. Spirit, holy angels and saints. What do we need to know for our greater good? Yeah. What do we need to know for our greater good? What do we need to know for our greater good? What do we need to know for our greater good? Mm -hmm. Yep, still about the past, guys. Sorry, this person from the past is feeling very hopeless because now they see you as their complete wish fulfillment. They're very heartbroken. They're wanting to come in to give you this little offer um, because they're being divinely guided to make things right, to be accountable. This is what's going on. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone that is uh, very passion-driven. This person is at a crossroads in their life in a state of confusion. Uh, so knowing that they cannot continue on the path they're on, they have to change because things aren't going right in their life. So let's go on to another deck and see what comes out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, so, you know, this person's trying to manifest you. They're trying to figure out ways that they can come in um, through manipulation to convince you that they want to put in the work. This is so deceptive. I mean, this person is trying to drop this burden that they have. They're going to try and rush in. They're plotting and planning, heavy in regret. But as soon as they come in toward you with this deceptive, manipulative energy, um, God's going to hit them with a tower moment. They, they aren't using their mind. <laughs> They're not using common sense. Every time this person tries to be devious, they get hit with a tower. Oh, okay. What's on the bottom of the deck? Again, it's over. It's the end of a cycle. If this person continues to try to get in your energy, disrupt your life, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. What else do we need to know? Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me tell you what's going on here. So, this person sees that the wheel is turning in your favor. You know, they see that things in your life are lining up. You're happy, you're abundant, you're successful. You have no need for for their lower vibrational lying, cheating energy. And they're all messed up because you don't give a shit about them. And I'm sorry about the language, but I am just so tired of this energy. Um, God's on your side. Luck is on your side. Favor is on your side. Money, wealth, 
abundance. It's all on your side. Now this person wants to rush in because they know you're in your power. What can they take from you? What can they take from you? This is the energy. What can they take from you? You're unbothered. You're planning for your future. You're sitting in your lady of luxury energy, living your best life, loving your life. You're sitting here not worrying a bit about what this person is doing. You're planning your future. You may be traveling, counting your money. This person is just, yeah, they just want to cause conflict through manipulation because they can't deal with you moving on, choosing to move on, and being re recognized for what you do, being rewarded for what you do as the star. They can't deal with you are better off, you elevated in every way once you got away from them, once you escaped them. Wow. You know, they're gonna have to learn the hard way when they lose everything. When they lose every single thing and every person in their life, then I guess they're gonna figure it out. Let's get advice. Sorry, my camera's moving, the wind's blowing. Oop. Let's get advice, please. What advice do you have for us regarding the situation, please? What advice do you have regarding the situation, please? <laughs> they are saying, Yes, it's unlikely this person will ever change. They are so stuck in ego and monetary gain and sex, lust, whatever they can steal or manipulate from other people. You're on the right path. Don't worry. They're saying, you know, just keep moving. Keep on moving. New opportunities are headed your way. They said, you know what? Stand in your truth. Um, defend yourself and speak up for what you know is right for you. Don't be suckered or deceived by someone from the past coming in trying to play games. Okay? You are recovering and you will recover all that was taken from you. All that person stole from you, whether it's time, attention, or money, or peace of mind. If this person slandered you, lied about you, you're going to recover it. You're going to be recovering it in the form of financial abundance is what I'm getting. You're going to be paid for it. Yeah. They're saying, you know what, moving forward, you'll have to compromise. Um, you know, you're learning to be the new version of you. Just trust and remain positive and continue to be in your, your power, setting boundaries for other people and have faith. Okay. Forgive and release. This person isn't even worth your anger. They're, they're not even worth your anger. It's just sad and pitiful is what it is. Okay, guys, um, I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.